If you were to watch my channel, you would think that I probably own like two handbags. So I tried it on anyway. And that thing didn't even go over, barely went over my back, okay? This smells amazing. And I don't think I would ever go back to getting a regular woman's robe again. And this is a low, well, low calorie for people. This definitely reminds me of like a, every time I would look in the review section and I would look at certain photos, I'm like, yuck. Hello ladies, thank you so much for tuning in to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Shireen and I bring you fashion and lifestyle video content. Today is such beautiful weather, you guys. It is Saturday, it is around two o'clock. The sun is shining so bright. And honestly, I have to eat my words from the previous vlog. If you have been hanging out on my channel for a while and if you've watched the previous vlog, I was complaining about the weather, especially here in Atlanta, <laughs> being all over the place. And it's still kind of all over the place, but we actually have a spring season. And my main complaint with being in Atlanta, and I've been here for a really, really, really long time, was that we don't have full spring and fall seasons. It's usually spring for two days and then it goes into scorching hot summer. So fall has always been one of my favorite seasons because we hardly ever have a spring. I feel like this year we actually have a spring. And in the previous video, I was complaining because it's cold in the morning, hot in the afternoon, cold in the evening, and it's still that, pretty much that bipolar weather, but I do, I do feel like we do have a full spring season here in Georgia and I am loving it. I'm able to wear certain spring-like items comfortably without feeling like I'm gonna sweat by the end of the day. So I'm loving it. Before we head out, let's get into my outfit of the day. I've worn this look or something similar here on my channel. I just switched up the accessories a little bit and you guys already know if you are not new here that I wear my clothes. So you will see certain pieces here on my channel all the time. <laughs> I'll just switch up my accessories. So these necklaces are from, this one is from Nordstrom's Rack, I believe. It has like an emerald stone. Gosh, I think this is from Nordstrom's Rack. This one here is from Beauty Melanin. And then this one here is from Dillard's. This top is from Zara. I got it. I think I got this last year. And when I tell you I've worn this top so much, I love this top. It is really comfortable denim crop top. These jeans are very old. They are from Fashion Nova. They are so old, you guys. I think this is from when I started, when I first started buying Fashion Nova jeans and they're skinny jeans. And I know you're not seeing skinny jeans trending or on YouTube with the fashion girls, but I'm still wearing my skinny jeans, okay? <laughs> And I'm not throwing them away. I am still wearing my skinny jeans. So one habit that I'm starting to create is to reach for items that I hardly reach for when styling myself. I am such a creature of habit. I can wear certain things every day just because they're easiest, most comfortable. So now I'm starting to reach for items that I haven't been paying attention to in my closet especially because I still love the item and I really don't have a reason for not wearing them. I just think it's just not the most convenient item to wear, if that makes sense. Well, these boots from Zara I've had for at least three and a half, four years. They're genuine leather white boots. They kind of fit into the whole cowboy trend that's trending right now. They have the this uh, silver metal hardware chain. And I think I used to feel like the chain was a little bit heavy and maybe that's why I didn't reach for it. But as I've been walking around the house with them on, they're comfortable. So I'm definitely gonna be reaching for these more. The next thing that I'm gonna also be reaching for are my handbags. Y'all, if you were to watch my channel, you would think that I probably own like two handbags because I don't ever switch up my handbags. Well, that is about to change. I've just been in my closet and spending more time in my closet and I have, 
way more handbags than you could tell based on my content. And so I'm starting to switch out my handbags more. And I think the main reason why I never changed my handbags is because of the convenience of wearing, having my stuff in one bag and just grabbing it and going. And also because I wear a lot of neutrals and basics, my accessories can be worn with so many different outfits that I have in my wardrobe. I don't really have a bag for an outfit or a bag for three outfits. You know, I'm never limited in that way because of the way I shop. So I definitely need to take advantage of that and wear more of my handbags. So you guys will be seeing more of my handbags on my channel from here on out because it makes no sense for me to invest and have these beautiful handbags just sitting in my closet. And I don't wanna sell them because I. I just love looking at beautiful things in my closet anyway this is um a gucci bag this bag is so old you guys i got this bag in london visiting family um in london back in i think it was like 2006 2007 this bag is old you guys it actually needs a lot of it needs some repair here at the handle because i used to wear it a lot when i first got it I don't mind, <laughs> I feel like it brings character, okay? A little bit of imperfection brings character, but it's definitely been worn. Um, I love this detail here on the handbag. I feel like this is such, it, it's so classic. I don't remember this handbag, like the name of it. And when I used to work for Gucci, we no longer sold these handbags. So I don't remember, um, but I love this. I feel like it can, be categorized as vintage now because it's been so long since I purchased this. Um, but yeah, you guys are gonna be seeing more of my handbags. I love it. This is actually a navy blue color and it has like a coating on it. So it's the coated canvas. Y'all, I love it. It's so big. It originally came with a long strap. I have to see if I still have it. I don't know where it is, but it, I, it definitely came with like a longer strap. It might still be in here. No, I don't know where the long strap is, but I never used to wear the long strap. I would always wear it as a top handle bag, even though it is humongous. <laughs> I am also wearing this perfume by Jennifer Lopez. It is called Promise. So I was first introduced to um, Jennifer Lopez Promise on Monroe Steele's channel. She always talked about how good it smelled, how she would get so many compliments on it. And so that definitely sparked my interest. And then I've seen other influencers talk about it as well and other influencers who actually wear the same fragrances that I wear. So I kind of knew that I would probably love the scent and I've had it in my Amazon cart for the longest time. And I finally just went ahead and ordered it and I ordered the larger um, version knowing that I could always return it if I didn't like it. But it smells so good. And I honestly should have known that it would smell this good because Jennifer Lopez definitely has beautiful scents. She, um, I used to love wearing Still by Jennifer Lopez, Glow by Jennifer Lopez. My grandmother will not leave the house without her Glow, honey, okay? She loves that Jennifer Lopez Glow. <laughs> but now you can find those at like the TJ Maxx's, the Marshall's, the Burlington Co. Factories, but this will not be at those locations, not yet anyway. But I'm loving this scent, you guys. It is a very light floral, kind of sweet. Um, I, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm far from an expert when it comes to fragrances, but I'll definitely place the notes here on the video screen and place it in the description box where you can learn more, but I love it. I'm topping my look off today with these sunglasses from Amazon. Y'all know I've talked about these as well as a few other similar ones that I've recently purchased and I've been wearing them like crazy so you can i'll definitely link them below i love these sunglasses so much that is another thing that i am such a creature creature of habit with wearing the same sunglasses over and over again and out of all the sunglasses that i own does whether it be designer or you know a very affordable sunglasses. I'm always reaching for my Amazon and H&M sunglasses over all the others. And so that is kind of crazy to me, you know. Anyway, I'm loving this. This one has the lighter tint on it. Um, so this one has like a light brown tint and I have the one with a black tint as well as a light green tint as well. So 
that is the look of the day you guys let's go ahead get out of here and do some shopping <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we are finally out of the house an hour later. <laughs> an hour later, y'all. And the reason why is because I was creating content. So I just pulled in to, um, just pulled into the Salvation Army store. I haven't been in this store in a long time. It's probably been almost a month since I've came here. Um, the last few thrifting trips, I just haven't been coming in here. So I'm interested to see what they have because they usually have some good pieces. because I want to build up my um, home office. So I'm looking for like any really nice desk, shelving, and I see a shelf over here. Let's go look at it. This is nice. It is sold. How much did it sell for? $79? Absolutely not. Oh, maybe they had a bunch of, oh, they had, oh, it was $29. would have um painted it because i wouldn't have wanted this color but i would have definitely spray painted all right guys so i didn't get anything from from the salvation army store just because um the two items that i did see were too small so that red blazer and i'll insert a clip y'all it was so cute i love the vintage look the details at the shoulders super cute but it was a size six and a vintage six so that means it was a size four or two <laughs> so i tried it on anyway and that thing didn't even go over barely went over my back okay barely went over my back and then the second piece i typically would not have even picked up and placed in my cart that was the pretty little thing long line blazer dress the reason why i picked it up was because i initially thought it said size 14 and i thought maybe i could like take it in a little bit because i have the same or something very similar but i think the quality that i have is a little bit better it is a pink and i'll insert a clip it's a pink long line um blazer dress from pretty little thing and i love it i don't wear it as much because of the color but i love it so much um it is a size us 12 and so the pretty little thing dress when i went into the um fitting room right before trying it on again i saw it said us 10 and so it definitely i could have gotten away with it to wear it as like a blazer versus a blazer dress but around the hips and the booty it just was not going to fit as a dress and it just wasn't worth getting for me um especially something from pretty little thing but i do have a pretty little thing blazer dress similar in my size and i love it and i feel like the one that i have is much better quality than the one that was in the Salvation Army store. I did not see anything else outside of that, to be honest. I didn't even look at the other, the rest of the patio furniture, but that one 
piece that I saw before I even got in the store and I'll insert a clip. It is this patio style lounge chair. Y'all, that thing is beautiful. It is a navy blue. It did not have the cushion um, that would probably go with it, but that's okay. But it was for $60 and I'm just not about to pay $60 for that. It, it wasn't worth $60 for me. Um, what else? They did have the shelving inside of the store as well. And like I mentioned, I am looking for some like office furniture because I do want to develop a home office. That is my next, that's a project that I want to do this summer is to build a home office. And so keeping my eye out for things, but it's not necessarily like a top priority. It's I don't have to rush it, but I do plan on going on like Facebook marketplace to look for a nice desk and you know, other places like that. But the thrift store definitely usually has a lot of nice furniture. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for some furniture for my home office. And I also need to get furniture for other rooms in my home, but I don't want to overwhelm myself. So we're going to start with the home office. And that is it. I'm going to head in the opposite direction where there are some retail stores that I want to also stop by. So this video will have a mix of thrifting and regular stores. That, that is just me. That's just my life. <laughs> um, I have this kombucha that I am, that I brought with me. It was halfway full, but this is such a great alternative to soda, you guys. It has very low sugar and very low carb very healthy for you it is probiotic so it's great for your gut health i love this flavor it is pink lady apple i love this one and the pomegranate it is so good it is so good all right guys i also want to go to nordstrom's rack and tj maxx so i think we're gonna head there first before we go to the other thrift stores um don't get me wrong i want to thrift today but most importantly, I want to shop today. And there are certain things that I want to teach at Max. I want to look at their jewelry. As well as at Nordstrom's Rack, I want to look at their jewelry as well. And some of their other accessories. And just, I just want to shop. I, it's such a beautiful day. And I'm not limiting myself to just thrift stores. So, let's continue on with the day. <laughs> So why did I forget to bring the pieces that I had in my, uh, to return to like H&M and Sephora and all those stores? So Nordstrom's Rack has some things, but I always have to give myself a, really, a reality check while I'm shopping because although I may see something cute, I have to remember what my wardrobe needs are. And for instance, I saw some really cute bodysuits um, that I was thinking about getting, but then I remembered I have bodysuits and I haven't even worn all of them. I also saw some jewelry, some really nice jewelry. The problem is I'm so used to shopping online and seeing the details of each jewelry piece. I just did not have the patience to Google these name brands and what was included in their jewelry, you know, all the details from their jewelry. I didn't have time for that. 
but so I'll definitely continue to shop online for jewelry because one thing that is annoying to me is to have jewelry that I really like but tarnishes over time. Prime example, this ring is from Nordstrom Rack and I really, I bought this ring maybe like a year ago and I probably did not pay attention to if it was hypoallergenic or how it tarnishes and it's already starting to tarnish and I don't like that because I really like this ring. <laughs> so I want to place more of an investment, even if it's just in the time and energy to research um, what jewelry just does not tarnish over time. And usually it's a little bit more expensive than your average $15 ring or $10 ring. So I skipped jewelry, even though I did see some pieces that I really liked. What else did I see? Went into shoes. I'm kind of disappointed with the shoe collection. When I used to shop at Nordstrom Track many years ago, their shoe collection used to be much better. Now it's horrible. Um, even not just this location, but also in Buckhead and Perimeter, their the, the shoe selection is not as good as it used to be. I did try on those New Balances because I was always curious on how it would look on my feet and what size I would wear. So I did try them on for future reference, but I did not get anything. So we're going to head to Target because I went to Target maybe uh, like last week or a week and a half ago. And I don't feel like I got to see or I spent enough time looking at a lot of their I forgot clothes. I want to check out the jewelry in TJ Maxx. And I know the line to look at jewelry might be a nightmare on a Saturday. But I really want to look at some of their jewelry pieces before I go into Target. So let's go into TJ Maxx, check their jewelry out, see what they have. And then we'll go into Target. And I said all that about Nordstrom's rack jewelry. And I'm going to go look at TJ Maxx jewelry. But I find that TJ Maxx jewelry in their case is definitely probably higher quality than what's displayed freely like openly at Nordstrom's Rack. I'm not saying that Nordstrom's Rack doesn't have um, quality jewelry but I think that TJ Maxx in the case has really good quality jewelry and I've never had an issue with it. Takers and givers, I've been caught the ladder, but am I really a giver? If I don't give to myself, don't take care of my health, care for everyone else. I usually give away my best, but get into this reset. Get into this reset. Get into this reset. Takers, givers, I've been caught the ladder. Get into this reset. Yeah, I'ma adjust my clock like day, like savings next era unlocked, and I ain't playing. Nothing at TJ Maxx, nothing worth trying on or bothering the staff for. So we're gonna go into Target, and surprisingly, the stores have been. Ooh. Surprisingly, the stores aren't really as packed as I thought they would be on a Saturday. And maybe because it is a little bit later on in the day, it is about 4.30. So, or a little bit after 4.30. So, I don't mind it. But every time I'm ready to spend money, I don't see what I want. And I don't want to just spend money just for the sake of spending money. So, if I have to shop online and get exactly what I want, that's what I will do. But I told you guys I've been, you know, looking at, I've been more intentional when it comes to shopping anyway and less random. So I'm really not surprised I'm not finding things in store while ra randomly shopping just because I've been shopping way more intentional this past six months and I'm gonna continue doing that because I've been loving my wardrobe more and more. Um, so anyway, let's head into Target. About this. Oh, this smells good. Ooh, that smells really good, you guys. That smells good. Oh, there's one left.
not a big fan of that. I don't like this one. Like this one's good. Too cherry for me. That's too cherry. But this. Yeah. Glad I picked that up. Let me smell this one again. Oh, this smells amazing. This smells good too. This smells really good. We're gonna. Yeah. What are these? getting the perfume because I have so much perfume that I recently purchased what should I do <sighs> they all smell so good I'll think about it on the way to the register I didn't get it guys I did not get the refinery ooh, or the fi finery I think that's what it is I did not get the fragrance I didn't get any of them I did see that they had a like travel pack where you can try them all I think it's called like a discovery and that was good to have and there was like one left ooh. it was one left and I was gonna get it but you guys like as i was shopping and on my way to the register <laughs> i and i went back to the section and smelled all of them again and even changed my mind about one of the scents that i you know liked um and i even pulled up a few reviews even though the service was really slow in target yeah someone was like it's giving shampoo <laughs> sorry guys i gotta put on my air it's getting kind of hot outside Turn it down. 
But yeah, I, I decided to wait on it because that would have been an impulsive buy. And I literally just purchased two new um, fragrances. And lately I've been like growing my fragrance collection. That is something that has been on my wish list um, to grow my fragrance collection my fragrance collection and I'm doing just that but I'm not trying to be impulsive even with the one that I showed you guys earlier um Jennifer Lopez promise I had that sitting in my Amazon cart for almost a month before I decided to purchase it so I say that all to say even with the Chanel one that I um, recently purchased the Coco Mademoiselle I've been wanting that since last November so I say this all to say I'm no longer doing random you know, impulsive shopping. And that is why I do enjoy shopping online because I do get to be more intentional with the pieces that I buy versus being in the store ready to spend some money and just grabbing anything. I ended up just getting some of my favorite snacks. I do need to think about what I wanna eat for dinner. I think I'm gonna wrap up today and then continue shopping tomorrow. Just because I had a long week, I'm kind of tired. I have some things to do at home. I need to wash clothes. I need to continue to um, do my description box for the video and placing all the links for tomorrow's um, video, which if you are not new here, you would have already seen. If you are new here, make sure you check that recent vlog out. And so um, I think I'm gonna wrap up today. I do, however, want to get something for dinner tonight and i'm thinking about doing the flatbread pizza again but i'm not sure what do y'all think i think i'm gonna go to public see if they have that keto pita bread because i got the last one last time and i think i have one left but if i do the flatbread pizza i'm definitely gonna need more than one so i think i'm gonna do that tonight that may be my dinner um a little treat even though it's very much you know it's low calorie it's low carb I guess the cheese would be the only thing, like so much cheese, but I think I wanna do that tonight for dinner. They got it. Y'all, I literally came home, got out of my clothes, placed my robe on, as you could see, to chill and relax for the night, continue um, scheduling this video for tomorrow. Um, and, you know, just chill out for the night. And then I remembered that I have some Amazon packages in my locker down the street. It's not far from here, but for one of them, the last day to pick up is today or it will be returned. So I'm about to throw on some sweats and head out, pick those up really quick, and then come back home and come right back in my robe. But for those who may be new here, I wanna show you my robe. You guys, I love these robes so much. I've washed them as well, and I still love them. Like, they've kept up the quality. Let me show you guys. I'll insert some clips, um, but these are, this one is the navy blue and green, as you can see. I also have the red, and I think it has some blue and green in there as well. Um, but I love these robes, you guys. I definitely want to invest in more. Um, I'll insert a clip just in case you are new here and you haven't seen them. Definitely, um, definitely recommend. Uh, it's, I got them on sale at Macy's. I believe it was over the holidays. I got them on sale at Macy's, so definitely look out for them. If they're not on sale now, I would wait for another sale because you know how Macy's you know how Macy's is when it comes to their sales. Um, but anyway, let me run on out and pick up these packages and then come back and do what I gotta do. And I forgot to mention that these are men's robes. And I don't think I would ever go back to getting a regular woman's robe again, ever. The men's robes are so oversized and cozy. You guys, I think I got the large. They're so oversized and cozy. Like, I love feeling like I'm wearing a blanket when I'm in the house. So, I highly recommend you check out the men's department for robes, ladies, especially if you are looking to buy the Ralph Lauren robes. Just get the men's. <laughs> Just get the men's. Me and my boyfriend actually have his and her robes, but we have the same colors. <laughs> so, I highly recommend them. He loves his. 
when I tell you he loves his robes, it's not even funny. So yes, I highly, highly recommend them. All right, ladies, I am about to make the flatbread pizza. I've made it on my channel before, so if you've already seen it, feel free to skip to the next chapter. But this is the keto pita bread that I got from Publix. It is only four grams of net carbs, y'all. So that is the reason why I chose it. I'm not necessarily on a keto diet. And then here is the tomato sauce, um, some mozzarella cheese. I'll also add like Parmesan as well. Definitely need olive oil. I need to refill my dispenser here, but that is the olive oil we'll be using. And then I may um, add some pepperoni. I really don't have a whole lot, but these are really big. So I cut them up last time. So that worked for me. And then I can also add some more vegetables. Let me see what I have, cause I may add some more veggies. Sorry y'all. So I'm not gonna add any more veggies. I'm just gonna do pepperoni and cheese and the tomato sauce. So let me set the camera up. Oh, I have parchment paper here. And um, it really does not need, I feel like I overcooked it last time. So I'm definitely gonna be mindful of how long I keep it in the oven. Tell me what can I do now Ain't it always funny how Soon as I let my guard down Here comes that familiar sound When you start to get tongue-tied And in my heart I feel you lie Though I knew the whole damn time Why do I act so surprised? Cause I'm free Sunday, ladies. Happy, happy Sunday. It is such a beautiful day out, even though I haven't been outside. <laughs> it's after 4 p.m. and all morning, you guys, I've been cleaning up and I've been straightening up. I had so much work to do around the house. I had to clean up, wash clothes. I cleaned out my fridge. I will call, I will call my um my cleaners to come most likely this week or next week to do a deep clean. I usually have them come once a month to do like a deep cleaning. I really needed to do a lot of work this morning. I washed or I am washing clothes. I just needed to do a lot when it comes to cleaning and organizing my home. I cannot operate in chaos. I don't like a lot of stuff hanging around. I like to clear. If I'm not using something, I will toss it so quickly. I have had loungewear on my wish list for a while. Because I've been working out in the middle of the day, the only thing that I've been wearing during the day has been athletic gear. So it's been, you know, some leggings, some tights to go to the gym, and then my t-shirt that I usually wear to the gym. That's been my loungewear during the day. And so I've been wanting to switch it up um, and just be more inspired to get dressed into different clothes during the daytime. So with that being said, H&M had an amazing, amazing sale um, the other day and I just went bananas. I went bananas and buying some sets. I bought um, a bunch of sweatshirts and you might ask, Girl, it is spring and summer. Why are you buying sweatshirts? I keep my home really cold, 
all year round. And so I find myself wearing sweatshirts a lot during the daytime. Sometimes when I'm hopping on meetings, I'll put on a hoodie or a sweatshirt or whatever, you know, whatever is appropriate for that meeting, but it would always be very cozy with sleeves. So I was not scared to invest in some sweatshirts from H&M. Plus I got some as little as like $11. The sale was just too good. Even if I did not want to wear it, you know, now I could always wear it in the fall and winter, but I know me and I know what I wear during the day and I'm always wearing sweatshirts. So I went, I went a little bananas, purchased a bunch of peaches, a bunch of pieces from H and M and I wanted to share them with you guys. I literally just tried them on really quickly upstairs. This is not a style haul. I literally just threw them on off out the box so that I can give you more information as I was discussing each piece. So I will insert a clip with each piece so you can see how it fit me and I'll share the size that I purchased and all that good stuff. So let's get into the first piece. Oh, and after the H&M haul, I will also show you a few pieces from Amazon as well. I know that loungewear seems like such an easy buy. You have so many sets available on Amazon and other you know, in other retailers, but I like something a little different. For instance, I like buying graphic tees as a part of my loungewear. You know, I like the different sweatshirts that aren't necessarily a set, but are actually, you know, designed to wear out and be styled out. Now, don't get me wrong. I will wear them out in public because my purpose of getting loungewear is to wear something cozy in the house that I can also wear outside. So with that being said, the loungewear that I'm about to show you may not be what you consider loungewear because I wanted something a little bit different than the average set. Now I will be showing you an Amazon set that I did purchase. Um, I wanted to try it out, see how it washed. The first piece that I'm gonna show you is actually what I'm wearing. It is this sweatshirt. I believe this one is a size large. Let's see. So yes, guys, I still have the tags on everything, even this sweatshirt that I'm wearing. You could never be too sure. But um, this is a size large. It is a beautiful off-white color, and you'll see that most of the sweatshirts that I'm about to show you are in this same kind of color palette. But I love it. It is very cozy very cozy i'm actually wearing all the pieces with these shorts that i got from h&m they're just some lounge sweat shorts i featured them in a video ugh, maybe about a month ago i actually ordered um three colors so this off-white color i have it in a gray and then also a charcoal color it's not quite black it's more so like charcoal and I love them. I've gotten them in a size large. I probably could have sized down with a few, but I like, I mean, I like the relaxed feel and look. I'm in the house when I'm wearing these shorts for the most part, unless I'm running an errand, but I love this sweatshirt. I feel like you, you guys will be seeing me in these pieces on a regular basis now that I will be filming during the week. And I just think they're just very comfortable, very easy. Um, like I mentioned, I keep my home pretty cold all season. So I find myself wearing sweatshirts all, all year long. So the next piece that I want to show you is one that I was really, I was really nervous about ordering because this was one of the higher priced, um, pieces get it is a cardigan y'all look how cute this is <laughs> y'all this is so cute oh my goodness and if you are not new here you know the issues i've been having with trying to find cardigans this past winter so when i do get my hands on one and i love it i i go ahead and pull the trigger and order so this one is in a size medium it is definitely oversized. I was nervous about the bust area, but as you can see, it's very plunge here as any cardigan. So it gives me that room. And honestly, it's still kind of big on me, but I like it. It's very cozy. I absolutely love this. You can see that in the video clip, I did have to pull my bra down a little bit. So it's not something that I would just go without a shirt under it, especially wearing it during the day if I'm taking meetings 
for work, but I absolutely love it. I love the design of it. It has that patch here that says athletic, which I am not, <laughs> but I absolutely love this. This reminds me of a school uniform. I used to go to Catholic school um, up until like third or fourth grade. <laughs> so this definitely reminds me of like a school uniform. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and I'm not Catholic, by the way. I just went to Catholic school. If, if you grew up in New Jersey or New York, going to Catholic school for a private school is very, very common. So, yeah. But, yes, I got this in a size medium. So, look how big it is. Yeah. Even in a size medium. So, I absolutely love, love, love this. So, the next two pieces that I'm going to show you is actually a set. And it is a sweatshirt and these sweatpants here. I I really like this. Now, this, I although I do like this and I plan on keeping it, it proves my reasoning for going a different direction when it comes to purchasing loungewear versus, you know, just ordering sweatsuits and loungewear sets at any retailer. This sweatshirt, although it fits me and it feels good and it's cozy, I don't like how relaxed it is at the bottom. It is pretty boxy and it's just too relaxed for me. I like when there is a more of a tailored fit at the very bottom, that band part, just because I am busty. So when I choose boxy pieces, unless they're extremely structured, I really stay away from them because they can make me look frumpy really, really quickly. I am gonna keep this though, because I do like it overall, but in comparison to the other sweatshirts that I um, tried on and that I purchased, this is not the favorite. And it proves my point in me choosing different kind of loungewear, <laughs> okay? So yeah, but I like it overall. I got this in a size large. I love the pants. I love the way the pants feels. It falls um, pretty, you know, it falls definitely um, to the floor. So as you can see, it's pretty long. I'm 5'5", five five, so you can kind of, you know, compare your height against mine to see how it will fall on you. But it's very comfortable, wide leg sweatpants. I love a good wide leg sweatpants. I think the ones that I recently purchased and featured in a recent vlog from Target is one of my favorites. I just feel like those sweatpants are everything. I know I probably could have went down to a medium with this set and I'm not sure why I got the large, maybe because it may have it, there may not have been any mediums available, but either way, I do like it. Um, very comfortable. Definitely will be wearing during the week. So this next sweatshirt, I actually purchased <laughs> three of them by mistake. Uh, I'll be returning. I already have returns back there waiting. But I absolutely love this design. It has, it says place. What does it say? Place Vendome, France, I believe. But I love the embroidery look and again, the color. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love light neutrals. This is the thing though. I've grown up a little bit because I used to do all black everything and I got away from all black. Now I'm doing more lighter neutrals. I just like the way it looks on my complexion. I don't know. I just love these colors. I'm sorry guys, but you're going to be seeing these colors a lot this summer on me. <laughs> yes. And it's very cozy. This is a very cozy fit, but yeah, I love it. Now the next sweatshirt, this sweatshirt here is my favorite. I've been watching this for a minute on H&M's website. I absolutely love the design. Okay. I love the color. I love it. Oh my gosh. It says downtown New York. It has like the NYC symbol, 55 US state here. 
I absolutely love this. This sweatshirt is a little bit longer line, so it comes down longer, but it's so cozy. It feels so good. I got it in a size medium, and I'm not sure if it's because the large wasn't available or if it said oversized. Usually, if it reads oversized in the description on H&M's website, I go for the medium because H&M typically runs big when it comes to their tops and sweatshirts anyway. So... I got this in a medium and it fits me. It's still kind of, it still has that oversized relaxed fit, but I love this so much, y'all. Very, very cute. I think this is such a cute sweatshirt. So this next one is some color, you guys. It's some color, it definitely has off-white detail or embroidery, or maybe I guess that's like a white grayish um, embroidery here, but, um, this reads Paris, France, and it's in this lighter, I guess you can say, would you say this is sky blue? In this blue color and very cozy. I love this. I got this one in a large. So with the, the most of the sweatshirts I did get in a large because it's not, it didn't say an oversized fit or a large may have been the only one available. When I, or at the time I ordered these, there was a lot of larges available versus mediums, so that could have been it. But yeah, very cute. And these are just easy outfits to wear in the house. They are considered loungewear to me. <laughs> They're definitely loungewear. This is, I won't go to bed in this. I don't sleep with, well, we're, we're not even gonna talk about how I don't sleep with clothes on, but, um, ooh. This definitely, as I'm wearing these shorts now, these sweatshirts, I would wear the same with this sweatshirt here. Very cozy. This next one is a regular like t-shirt for $7. I just wanted to see how their shirts fit. And I think this is a good time when, when I find sales like this on their website and I'm unsure about the fit of something or how I would like it I always would try it out during a sale and this was seven like 76 very oversized um I got it in a size medium and it is still so big so I definitely suggest going down a few sizes when it comes to these t-shirts unless you want them really big I'm keeping it just because I plan on wearing this in the house you know um an excuse the crushing of all of these pieces. Like I mentioned earlier, I literally just tried them on out of the package. So I literally just took them out of each package and just placed them on. I did not iron them or anything else because I'm not, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep, um, I, I wasn't sure what which pieces I would keep. So this last set um, that I ordered from H&M actually resembles the next set that I'm gonna show you from Amazon. And I'm so glad I get to do just like a direct comparison so that for next time when I wanna order some short sleeve sets as loungewear, I can definitely, you know, use this as reference. I'm still tempted to order some more short sleeves just on a really hot, hot day. Um, but this set here um, is like a cropped boxy waffle fabric shirt and the, it came with these shorts. Or no, did I order these shorts separate? I don't know, let me, let me go check. But these are the shorts here. I got them both in a size large. Yeah, I got them in a size large. Yes, they did come at um, as a set for $19 or $20. And I like it. Um, I've never ordered a set like this from H&M. So I'm glad that I'm getting to, you know, get familiar with them so that when I need them next time, I can definitely make a purchase. So that concludes all the pieces that I ordered from H&M, you guys. Like I mentioned, everything will be linked in the description box with my size so that if you're interested in ordering, you can definitely um, order directly from the description box. I look at loungewear a little bit differently. I don't just choose any old set um, because it's marketed as loungewear. I like to do something a little bit different. <laughs> anyway, um, 
So this piece, this set I actually ordered from Amazon and I've been looking at Amazon's loungewear for a while. And the reason why it took me so long to make a purchase is because every time I would look in the review section and I would look at some certain photos, I'm like, yuck, they got some nerve to be selling this. And it looks, you know, the, the quality looks horrible. You know, I'm looking at the photos on people and it just looks sloppy. And I'm not talking about the person in the photo. I'm talking about the way the, the, the clothes, the, the pieces look. And I'm not talking about any particular size. I'm talking about across the board. And so I didn't want to make a huge order or any order on Amazon. And then as soon as it arrives, I would be so disappointed. Or as soon as I washed it one time, I would be so disappointed. However, I did come across this set. And when I, when I looked at the reviews and the photos, I was actually impressed. So I wanted to try it out in one color. And if I liked it, I would go back and order more colors. So this is also like a waffle fabric set and it is longer than the H&M and it has that pocket detail, but I actually really like the way this fit me. I love this muted blue color. I actually really, really, really like this. And then it came with these shorts here and I ordered a size extra large by the way so this is an extra large and that's another thing with amazon the sizing can be really really tricky so make sure you pay attention to the measurements sometimes the measurements are listed in that like photo gallery that you will see towards your left hand side of your um computer on the screen they'll usually list um, the measurements in one of those photos. So make sure you guys pay attention to that. But yes, I got this in an extra large. I probably could have gotten the large and been okay. But according to the measurements, I just did not want to, I didn't want to risk it. And I, I think this, this fit is okay. I would order the same size again. So I do have to decide on if I want to invest in more short sleeve sets as loungewear. I'm, I am definitely thinking about it um, because I feel like I'm starting over when it comes to loungewear. Um, just because my workout clothes were my loungewear before. So we'll see. Um, I also ordered my infamous <laughs> skims dupe um shapewear bodysuit but instead of getting the bra strap version i wanted to try out the thicker straps just because i wanted the option to wear a bra don't get me wrong if i don't have to wear a bra i won't wear a bra but i just wanted to see how the thicker straps like what kind of support it gives I did not try this on yet, you guys, but I'll definitely be sharing the way it looks in future videos. So if you are not subscribed and you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe. I produce videos. I upload new videos every Sunday and Thursday. So yeah, um, but and I will insert a clip of this same um, this same bodysuit, but in the bra strap version, so you can see what the bodysuit looks like generally. I've been posting a lot of content, including this bodysuit. So if you are familiar with my channel, you would have already seen it. But like I mentioned, the only difference is this is the actual, like a thicker strap versus the bra strap. I love the color. This chocolate color is so yummy. The one that I got from Skims, the actual Skims version, is a brown color but it's more of a reddish brown not a chocolate brown and so i really love this chocolate brown color so i did order this from amazon as well all right guys so that actually concludes this haul guys, so i'm gonna go ahead and close out this weekend vlog i will start a new vlog tomorrow because i'm now bringing you guys weekly vlogs as i mentioned earlier so you guys will be seeing weekly vlogs on Sundays and then the weekend vlogs on Thursdays. So yes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out. Thank you so much 
for joining me on this weekend vlog. If you are new here, I hope you enjoy the content. If you did, hit subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I upload videos on Sundays and Thursdays, and I do shorts in between. If you are on Instagram or on Twitter, make sure you follow me at Shireen underscore H. I always put my social media username in the corner of the video screen throughout the video. That is my social media handle for every platform. I am not really on TikTok much, so if you're on there, I, I don't post on TikTok, not currently anyway, <laughs> but I do post on Instagram and I all um, and I also tweet on Twitter so or X, I guess it's called X now. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.